all right what is up everybody this will be my jungle tier list patch 13.24 b this is the final patch until the next season that is coming up in january so so far this is what i'm going to leave for you guys and everyone to understand for what's good and what i feel like is the top tier jungle meta though jungle will change a lot in the next patch for now this is what i feel like is really good and what i know is actually strong so for starters we're gonna start at the top here briar the girl honestly i don't even know how Riot can just just there's nothing they can do to get rid of briar in the jungle meta like she's so good low elo and higher you go and this is why i've been telling you guys invest into the briar stocks if you learn her and you put in that time to get through that learning curve which is kind of brutal at the beginning i i agree I, I think briar at the beginning when you're learning her feels like shit but once you kind of pick up and you learn her you just get so much free lp and she's actually really fun to play so i think you you all should invest check out my videos on her i think briar is just here to stay for a long time i think she's going to be a staple jungle pick next we have belvet belvet is actually rising in prior priority i think as other champions have been getting nerfed and i think people are getting used to like the new build on on belvet where you can go like kraken into stride breaker i made a video about it too and i think she's very good very strong these games she's able to get so many free kills that just helps her snowball super well i just think it's super broken and she's a great pick i recommend for you all next we have graves so graves he is just doing our right you know he's abusing the lethality like ghost blade with collector sort of build path and he's a very snowball jungler i don't know how he'll be in the next season i feel like graves might struggle in the next season but it's hard to say with so many new items we're gonna have to see how that affects a lot of these junglers kazix i mean i'm a big fan of him i think you go ghost play gus eclipse whatever you like he's, there's so many options on his build path he's just good in the right situations and he's a great jungler in one trick i think he's a very strong jungler he's just very uh he's better in like the emerald to diamond elo ivern even after nerfing him this champion is just giga broken he's just super imbalanced and if people were better at ivern i feel like he just decimate everyone and there'd be like no hope for anyone but people are not that good at him so you get away with a lot of things when you play against that so overall he's a really good pickup and he's a really good pick for people who want to play more utility base nocturne my go-to the little darkness daddy bro like come on nothing gets better than a good old nocturne game bro nocturne just gets the gears going gets the i i've been saying it all the time i still think he's going to be the top tier jungler to pick up he's just super good super effective uh going into next season he's for sure still going to be strong with all the different items i feel like you just have to pick up nocturne if you're learning jungle he's just he's if i was to recommend things to you guys i'd say pick up briar and pick up nocturne and i 100 percent promise you like this is a nori promise to me and you you will climb like you've never climbed before in the jungle position i promise you that you got to pick up those champions and put in the work to learn them next master yi i've, I've actually i've been starting to embrace a bit of the wuju life i've been learning all the mechanics to master yi i've been practicing playing and i've been realizing he's actually really easy to play but he just it takes a while to understand what you need to do on him the meditate mechanics the double strike all this kind of stuff once you perform these things he's actually literally brain dead you just run down people just if you go in the right time you're gonna kill them all and he's a good jungler and i think he's a good pickup whenever he's strong in the meta we on to the a tier so i i think i'm gonna start with rexa here i think rexa is very good I, I like Rek'Sai. I think next season she's going to be a great champion. And I'm literally going to show you guys the most broken build in the world going into next season. So I highly recommend you all play the Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai is looking so good next season. I, I guarantee you, you're going to climb so hard with her. Ramis as well. Ramis is the low elo god tier champion. He's just out stat checks everybody. I think he's a good champion. I think he's a good pickup when you're low elo. Evelyn. Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn. She is a one trick jungler. If you're willing to one trick her and put in the time, she can be good. But if you're just going to play other champions as well, you're never going to go win on Evelyn. Fiddle. Fiddle is like my recommend recommendation on for you guys to play an AP jungler. I, I think if Fiddle 6 is 
the good one. He is the goat of AP jungle. He's weird at first. Same thing with like Briar. There's a learning curve. But once you pick it up and you once you get through past like the learning curve, he is free LP and like you have to eventually like if you need an AP jungle in your pool, he's definitely the one. Jax jungle. Jax, like the thing about Jax jungle, I was so like against it at first, but as I like played it and I looked at it, I think high elo he is hard hard to win on because you're just really playing to farm. And it's not a farming jungle meta, but he is strong in certain situations against certain comps and the lower you go the longer the game goes so you're able to get your divine sunder you're able to get your spear of sojin and then hourglass and he's pretty much a god at that point so he's a really good pickup there jarvin the fourth jarvin is lower on the tier list i think he struggles a bit now but in high or low he's so good into like those comps where they have no mobility to get out of your r kane he's just good with the blue cane abuse like he's just a good all-around pick Shaco, same thing as a one trick jungler, you know, just a dirty little one trick, not much to say. Lilia, he's she's also a good AP jungle to pick up. I think Loi Love. Lilia is a good AP jungle to pick up, so I wouldn't mind seeing that for some people. Tali is a hard, hard jungler to pick up. Very hard, very situational. I wouldn't recommend Talia unless you really have like negative seven ping and the same thing for this guy if you have really low ping i think Lee Sin can be a good champion but overall i think your ping does reflect how you can perform on such a reactionary champion like Lee Sin. so if you have low ping those champions are good for you hecarim i've been experimenting with different hecarim builds and i find i find some of them to be actually be very good depending on the situation so i think you can easily get away with like a certain like hecarim game with like in emerald i think hecarim is god tier and depending on how you build you can make it work pretty well echo he's a one trick jungler not much to say zach i would say the same thing very one trick heavy karthus or sorry brand brand jungle i'm, I'm a bit of on the i'm on the brand train i think you die a lot when you play brand but that's just the name of the game so if you're not willing to die on brand it ain't gonna go well karthus same thing, a bit of a one-trick jungler. My Q finger gets tired when I play him. I also don't think it's a good AP jungle meta, so I'm not really big on the Karthus. Same thing with Ringer. I'm not really big on the Ringer. I think if you one-trick him and you literally dedicate your life for the cat, you could perform well, but I don't think he's worth it. We'll see how the new items affect the changes. I think the new items next season will literally give this guy like S-tier status, but he'll probably get nerfed after that. Poppy, good counter jungler, like good counter champion, like counters like dash high mobility champs. Kindred, she's looking better and better, you know, as the time goes on, is how I feel with the Kindred pick. Diana, she struggles. Like I say, a lot of AP junglers struggle right now. There are some that shine, but Diana does struggle, but she might be better in the new meta and all that kind of stuff. Gragas, his passive got buffed, so it's a bit better for him. You get more health as you kind of level up, so he's an okay AP jungle. Morgana, same thing, just a decent AP jungle. Udir, he's a bit of a one-trick jungler, so you gotta one-trick it to get the most value. Amumu, Amumu's like a low yellow jungle tier list. Champion that, like, low yellow, he just decimates people. I think even next season, he might be a really good pick. Maokai jungle has kind of fallen off the train after people have been abusing him at Worlds a lot. And Trundle Warwick, these are really decent low yellow low picks. They're very simple and effective, and they're really easy for you to kind of get the job done that you really need. But Vi, Vi's always in this weird like situation where she's too good in pro play, so they nerf her, and that just affects her solo queue win rate. But my issue with Vi personally is just her R cooldown is too long. There are some cool builds you can do, and I made videos about it, but overall, I hope next season is better for Vi. Viego, he's a bit of a one-trick jungler. Wouldn't say he's in the best position, but he is an okay pick if you like shirtless, man. Nunu, the snowball god, is really bad right now. Not really bad, but he's forgettable. But I do think next season he will have more opportunities with the new items. Nearly same thing. AP jungle is not that good right now. Plus, she's super hard. Talon is actually getting a bit better. He got a quality of life change to Q, which is not really quality of life. It's literally a buff. When you do range Q, it gives you an auto attack reset now, which is huge for talent. So that, that's a big change. I think it helps mid a lot, but it does help jungle. Silas actually got nerfed in the mid position, which also affected his, his jungle win rate. So that's un unfortunate for him. But the rest of these picks are just like decent. I say playable, not the best right now, but these are all like playable picks that you can make work for sure. 
When we go into like the F category, this just means like it's a failure. This champion cannot jungle. I tried it. Don't waste your time on Huawei's jungle clear. It's it's really sad. Oh, uh, Wukong's been gutted to the ground. Sejuani, people complain about me saying like, oh, Sejuani is so good, low -y low. I I disagree. I think she's really bad right now. She gets nerfed because of, because of pro play all the time, and she's very like situational. She's too many skill shots for low -y low. She requires a lot of melee champions to get her stacks going, which if you don't have that ready, it's just a really bad thing. And yeah, overall, I'm not big on Sejuani. I think she's way, way worse. Like if you want a better champ to invest your time in, I would say you would invest into Briar. You would invest into Nocturne. And let's say you want to invest into like a tank, right? You would invest into a Mumu. And you can invest into like a lot of different stuff like that. Even Trundle would probably be better than that. Or Ramus. Like this would be a much better investment than going for the the pig it's also haram but yeah i hope you guys like that video this is my tier list i'm gonna be updating a lot about the game when we go into it next season i think next season is gonna be really fun i'm excited for it i'm really excited for it and yeah i'll be making a lot of videos every day hope you guys check it out <clears throat> and yeah i'm gonna just make new champions whenever my, i make a video also let me know what champions you want to see Next season, we're going to go even harder. It's going to be so many different picks. I'm going to show you guys all the best builds. Be sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck in all your games.